Hey, hey, hey we're, we're, we're the last leg of our tour, and we, we, you know, and these are gonna be our, our best shows. These are we're in Windsor, Ontario, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, Ontario, Niagara Falls, Ontario, no Tucson, Arizona, Arizona, and then we finish on 420 in the United States in Las Vegas, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. But we're, oh. we added Abu Dhabi. We're yeah. coming to the United at Arab the Emirates. Etihad Arena. Etihad Arena, May 21st. We, we can fill the Etihad Arena. Let's hope so. Go to badfriendspod.com for those tickets. Badfriendspod.com for we tickets. We also got new merch. The we got merch with these tickets. The tickets. That's the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys <laughs> shirt. Show them, show them, kiddo. I love it. These sweatshirts with and the Beastie this one's, Boys. Uh, the Fear and Loathing shirt. Yeah. Uh, go to uh, badfriendsmerch.com. Badfriendsmerch.com. Uh, I'm doing uh, six dates. Andrew Santino's doing six dates to run my new hour in the club. October 4th, I'm doing uh, uh, Cobbs. He's doing Cobbs. <laughs> I'm doing six clubs. Yeah, yeah. October fourth. Uh, I'm doing cobs. Are you? Do I'm actually doing cobs. Yeah, I'm October fourth. I'm doing it though. I think I'm doing it in June. But go to andrewsantino.com for those dates. I'm doing Houston, Nashville, San Francisco, uh, Tampa. Uh, go to andrewsantino.com for all of those dates. See you soon. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. YouTube or something. We're bad friends. Her attitude's already stinky. She has a stinky attitude already, dude. You're telling me she stinks already? Put the mic as close to I don't her think mouth. She probably... I think she physically smells good, but <clears throat> I think her attitude is stinky. Let's, what do you think the... What are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> don't... Hand it to her nice, dude. That's a celebrity, dude. Jesus. Is she? Wow. Wow. Yeah, she is. Oh, whoa, dude. Do I have to wear these? You don't have to. No, but it helps don't do you that. hear your own Don't that. Don't, don't do that. You don't, don't want to do, fuck don't up do your the, hair. It's fine. Don't yeah. do that here. Then throw it down or just put it wherever. Just hold it. <laughs> Please hold it. Thank you. Yeah. I love these um, slacks. The buttons on the side are cool. Is this... um Fashion? What grandma's couch is this made out of? Yeah. I was waiting for that. Well, they. I got you pants, by the way. I got you a gift. Where do you find where those? You don't buy those. Where do you find them? I got you a gift for real because I know you like fashion. Oh, I got gifts. No, you don't. Dude. I have a ring. So non-thoughtful. That's a ring that a, that a fan gave you. But you like Korean? Okay. Korean what? <laughs> Korean rings. <laughs> what is that? It's uh, from the that's ring is it from the from Korean, the war Korean war Korean war. Okay. Yeah. So, you know we had a war, right? This is fun. I got. You <laughs> I got you pants. Yeah. I got okay. you pants. Yeah. Um. You did? Yeah, I got. You've me. never got me pants. You know what I got you? If you say career, it's going to really bother me, dude. You said it. No, that's what you feel. I didn't say it. You yeah, said it. Yeah, I had one before. Did Not you? great. Yeah. But I had one. <laughs> oh, you know what? It was Did Nikki little... Stiganeki has really got in your head, my friend. <laughs> Ricky Snicky has really got into his head. Number one dude. on Amazon. Yeah, number one on Amazon. Um, I did get you a gift. These are for you. These are pants. What are they? Um, These are Yeezys. Yeezy pants. I bought you Yeezy pants. I'm not kidding at all. He saw. They're Yeezy pants. Go ahead and open them up so she can see. <laughs> open them up first so she can see. Look at that. Hold that up. What do you think? Thank you so much. <laughs> you like those? I love them. Those are vultures. Those are Yeezy. So. Why are they so big? They're her size. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they are. Mm, pretty sure they are. Are those for Mo Ammer? <laughs> <laughs> not that he's big, but I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you saying? Your attitude right now mm. is different. Go ahead and introduce our guest. Bobby Altoid. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Bobby Altoff. Altoff. Um, are you Jewish? No. Do you want to be? What type of question is that? Uh, that's a silly one, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you aren't Jewish? No. Are you yeah. sure? I'm sure. Have you done a 23 and Me? Do you know your history? Yeah. Your genetical makeup? Do you think you might have owned, your family might have... Owned slaves? Maybe. Is that what you're going to ask? <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Bobby Altoff is of Jewish she descent. She made being Jewish cool again? Mm. Mm. Did, you, what is, did you guys just make this up? Yeah, we wrote all these articles yesterday. <laughs> before you came in. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. On the internet. Why does it say I'm of Jewish descent? Are you? No. What's the deal? Why are you so adverse? To it? It. I'm just it. confused. I did I did do 23 and me. I'm not. Can we stop like looking me up or whatever you're doing? <laughs> I'd love to hear about your upbringing. Oh, great. May I ask some questions? 
sure. I f- was there a lot of flowers? <laughs> Growing up, like, did you see wilderness? Did you see nature? What do you mean? Like, when you walked outside, did you see tweet, 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 birds? Like, what, what are you trying to get at? Like- I, 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 I want to know if you lived in the city or if you lived, grew up in the suburbs or the farm. Take it down. Uh, oh, you're right. You think so? Take it down just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, dude. She's provoking me, dude. Too high right now. All right. Let me ask you another question. I mean, the same question, but in a different way. I want to keep it down. Yeah, keep it down. I keep it down. Bobby Altoid. No. <laughs> Altoid. That was so funny the second time and the first time. We're going to see it again. Look at her. She's going. She's ready for you. Can you ask your question? <laughs> My work speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does. So, um, Bobby. Yes. Do you not have a question? It sounds like you don't have a question. I do. Uh, no, I, I do. I, did you grow up in the uh, in the suburbs or the city? Um, Like kind of on a farm a little bit. Exactly. Uh, yeah. That's what I thought. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So your dad was a farmer? No. Okay. What? Just, I grew up on two acres. One or two acres? Two acres. Okay. How, I, I don't want to know the specifics, but um, is your dad a doctor? No. What does your dad do? He builds houses. Architect. No, contractor. Oh, contract. My bad. Yeah. Handyman, contractor, Handyman. architect. Did your mother work? Janitor, custodian. President. Fix it, boy. Blue collar. Uh, not a collar at all, in fact. Probably t shirts, if I'm being honest. No collar. No, no collar. collar. No collars. Did, no your collars. Mo- did, your mo- did your mother work? No. What did she do? She would be really mad if she heard me say that, though. Oh. Because she raised you. She did. And that's work. And it's work. A lot of work. Uh, I think a lot of work. To raise her? I think so. Yeah. To raise me or people in general? Just me? You specifically. Is yeah. momming a job? Of course. What? Well, you're you have that job, right? I do. Yeah. Yeah, you're a mommy. Why do you talk did, like did, that? Did it feel like work? Is it a mommy? I can't believe people enjoy listening to you guys. Oh, and talk. vice versa. Yeah. yeah. If I may. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I, we know why you're popular. We like you a lot. We've considered you the third bad friend, and we also um are huge fans of yours. And also, can I just say something? You know, we normally probably wouldn't do other people's podcasts. We generally try. And, I do a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I do a lot, but you do everybody's. I, I do everybody's, but um, you, it's when you, you asked, you and Mark Norman are in the race for who can. <laughs> I, I know. Hey, when, you'll do it. <laughs> yeah, but up. when you asked, I was like, "Well, can I ask you a question though?" Because you asked me way before, like six months before I actually did it. So what the fuck happened? You call, you text me and you go, or you DM me, you're going, can you do my podcast? I'm going to come over Friday. Friday comes around, you're no, a no-show, and then I don't hear you from you that's for six months true. later. It wasn't a no-show. I said, I texted you and said, sorry. To me, that's no-shows. That's not. Okay, you were a show. I texted you. You, you, you. you texted me. I didn't just like ghost you. I know, but it was an hour before. Yeah. An hour before. Was you, it? Yeah, before you came to my, so. yeah, yeah, yes. An hour before you came to my house, you're like, I'm not coming. Do you want an apology? No, I want to know what happened. Tyga had to do it that day. You got bumped for Tyga. Can I, may I ask you a serious question? Mm-hmm. Who did better numbers? I mean, the audio I downloads. Tyga did. Tyga's audio downloads are going to be better than yours for sure. Okay. Go to click on her profile picture, her photo. There you go. Videos. Yeah, videos. Go down to Tyga. All right, so Bobby's at what? What does it say? 1.8 million right there with his leg spread? 1.9. 1.9. Thank Where, you, Pete. Where's, where's Tyga? <laughs> right there at five, 5 million. Okay, mm. he wins. Yeah. Yeah. He did. That hurt so bad. It was... <laughs> no, the whole thing hurt. But the, uh, but the, um, the TikTok um, views were pretty good for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw a clip. It got like 55 million or something. Yeah. 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 We did have a clip that did that. So for six months then, you're like, okay, I'm going to do Tyga. And then for six months, you were gone. Yeah. In that six months, you didn't think of me? No, I did. But you were like, probably not. I actually thought you were really mean, and I wasn't looking forward to meeting you. But Rick Glassman assured me that you were nice in real life. There's a guy you should always listen to. <laughs> yeah. What do you, what's your opinion now? Uh, not much has changed. I don't know. So You scare me a little. Wow. Wow. What, what was your pre? What was your opinion of me before you met me, and then after? Truly, I had no opinion of you before. Good. 
You, Blank people slate. generally don't. I had heard of. <laughs> I'll be honest. People don't have an opinion to me before. Generally don't. And then when they meet you, they kind of do. And that's a good thing. Yeah, well, yours is usually negative. No, it's positive. <laughs> she just said she thought you were an asshole, and then she met you, and it was confirmed. But she had an opinion. <laughs> I think it's better to have an opinion than not having an opinion before. You should have less opinions, is how I feel. You know, you're acting strange today, dude. What is it you think? You didn't sleep well or something. Did not. I know, I can tell I by your face. was up all night. I was worried about this interview. Yeah, me too. All night. I woke up four times to pee thinking... What are we going to do? What are we going to talk to this fucking goon about? Yeah, yeah. And... And I didn't get any sleep, and now I... What was your opinion after we met? <laughs> You're lovely. Am I? Yeah. We got on pretty well. So Let me ask you... A wait, wait, no, no, I'll stop. I want to move on. Can I ask one more lot and then we'll move on? Because yours haven't been... There's been no good questions out of you so far. <laughs> I, who, 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 can Am I, I wrong? Can we back this up or no? I like the flower question. Yo, that one was a fucking home run. Way to go, Pete. Okay. The flower Thank you, Pete. question. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it's called Nature's Beauty. <laughs> you don't know about Nature's Beauty, dude? Man, you're on fire today. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. So, um, your opinion of Andrew after you met him is your opinion stronger about him than my your opinion about me after that we met? Is the love you have for me more than the hate you have for Bobby? I don't think that came out. So, I just it came out weird. Um, that came out weird. Is that how he, is that how you meant it? Is the love for me bigger than the hate for Bob? That's how I meant it. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's like a tie. Good. Yeah. That's good. Oh, that's good. Where'd you go? Huh? To get that creation? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, go. You go. What are you plugging creation? What the <laughs> fuck is going on with you today? <laughs> what is going on with you? Dude, even if you saying this right now, you would never ask what's going on with me. I don't like it. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you're doing right now, stop it. I had a bad. You're trying to brag in front of her or something. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're changing your thing. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm like. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> that hurt. Is this normally how your podcast? Goes? Yes. You talk to each other while your guest watches. Oh, do you want to? Yeah, let's not compare podcasts. Yeah, let's not do this. Be because because yours. Yeah, there we go. Um, your little girls. You're, you're a two, little you're, girl. You're two kids. Oh no, I mean uh -huh. not. your children. Yes. I have a I have a real question. <laughs> okay. Slow down. Dude, I'm this close. To what? To what? Honestly, to what? Leaving? Not leaving, but like really having it a, a, uh, having it a hoe with down with you. Okay, let's hoe down then. What? You got to sleep better. I I know. And you had a good set last night. No. You're delusional, dude. Bobby. Yes. Put your phone down right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Are... Do you know what's so funny with what you? What is your question? No, I have a question. Yeah. With your little ears sticking out like that, you know, you look like a wood elf. Thank you. <laughs> like from the movies. You're going to look up what that is? Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. we're going to show it You to really the, look like a wood elf right now to me. Show it to the fans there. That's a nice look. What would her wood elf name be? Huh? What would her name be? Look, there we go. That's she, her. Thank you. Bingalow. Bingalow. Stevens. Bingalow Stevens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your wood elf name is Bingalow Stevens. Thank you. And you live in the deep forest. Sounds good. Yeah. In that mythological world, what do you think I would be? A troll. That's, a little troll. I'm a little troll or a big troll? Big troll. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Big troll. Fuck you, dude. I have to ask. I want to know. This is a question because I think about this a lot. My buddy has three girls. When the girls reference their father, what do they call him? Dad. Dad or daddy? Daddy. They say daddy. Yeah. Mm. I just feel like I don't, if I ever have a daughter, I don't want, do you want your daughter to call you daddy? Um, That's not weird. Don't make it weird. Yeah. You could do papa, pop. That's weirder. How is pop or papa or poppy weirder than daddy? Daddy's only weird because. Daddy's what Puerto Ricans call everybody. Don't speak me, daddy. See? <laughs> No. It's weird. That's not how it's goes. weird it's that you're... It just sounds weird. You know what I mean? I don't like... I, I, I'll do my homework, daddy. <laughs> right. Doesn't it sound weird? I don't like daddy. Yeah, I, I don't like daddy don't either. Like, it grosses it's me. it's cute. Yeah, yeah. Why is it... Why? Cute? Then why... So sweet. But then how come it transfers over into adulthood? And People do that to like everything. Go do it again. Do it to something else. Nice try. Thank you. Yeah, nice fucking try. Someone no one goes. Out. No adult male goes, Mommy, you'd fucking throw up on sight. If some kid, if I walked into a friend's house and he was like, Mommy, like can, can we have Mamacita? 
Uh, uh, did, You're did, in you, America. You, yeah, Elsa, shut the, shut fuck, the fuck up, up. right now, dude. No, see what I'm saying? No, daddy transfers into adult language. Appa. Like a problem. Appa is Korean. Appa, Society. Not how does Appa Korean. sound? Appa's great. Yeah. Appa and Oma. I'll do my homework, Appa. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it already. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I know you don't do your homework, so I think that's it. <laughs> You're definitely yeah, yeah. getting spanked. Anyway. It's up on Oma, right? Yeah. Dude, you're so bilingual. Hi. 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 That's Oma. high six Japanese, but anyway. Mm. Did, did you know what kind of Asian I am? You know? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You don't know what kind of Asian I am. Do you care? No. Um, What's your favorite ethnic food? Mexican. Oh, you like it? So what, what dish do you get? What Mexican dish do you get? Tamales. Oh, Oosh. basic. <laughs> what do you think? Do you really do you think the word basic would apply to you genuinely or no? No, because it's not it, it's not a negative connotated thing. Basic is kind of nice. I'd say I'm basic. Yeah, I would say the same. Thank you. I'm complex. You are. You are. You are. Very complex. You know That's what I am? Diverse. I, I'm two shifts away from the Rubik's Cube being solved. And uh -huh. you're when all the colors are fucking all over the place, <laughs> which is beautiful. It's not a bad thing. I, I disagree. <laughs> okay. I'm already solved. All the colors are on all the right sides. Absolutely. fucking lutely At, Yes. You're, do you really think you're a cohesive thing? Yeah, but then I mix you're it up myself. You're a fucking nightmare. Right. You fuck it up every morning. But you're, then I, but at, in the morning, it's back to the same colors. Right. It's like a movie. Yeah. Right. Like every day you fuck up all this shit and then overnight it somehow everything fixes it. You know why? Because everybody else is doing it for you. Someone comes in the room. Bro, and I fixes, swear to fuck. You, you're you, dude. You're I'm like, telling you right now, dude, you're this close of having a fucking hoedown. <laughs> <laughs> you're this close. And you we haven't had a hoedown in a very long time, dude. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to I'll, I'll get my cowboy hat and I'll, I'm willing to go down, dude. Go get it. Focus, hee -haw, hee -haw, dude. Focus on the guest. OK, let's go. She's on her phone again. Yeah, again. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's bored. She's not bored. Oh, she is. No, 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 you're not. Can How about we, you? Know what? You, you, I, you, you are more than welcome to leave at any time. I don't want her to. Can do I? That. If you want to go, go. I Please don't. Actually, will. I don't want you to. If she wants to go, let her go. We did hers. Who cares? She does ours. If you want to go, I, I don't want to keep you here. If you don't yeah, feel like yeah, being yeah. here. If you don't have any more questions. I know. I have a million of them. <laughs> I have a million questions. All right. She's and ready to may go. May I say? Let her go. This is the first time I've ever seen it, but I think that you're a decent human being, looking human being. Decent looking human being? And all of it, I mean, oh, in, wow. in, in the insides as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> were you really saying that? Was it? What were you saying? What? You were saying- I was, you know what, I'll be honest with you. I was like, I don't have any questions. So then I just, you know what I mean? I went with my instinct. Right. And it came out weird. And you're a basic looking good, good looker. What's on, what's on Bobby Altoff's Spotify top songs? Like kids' music. Like what? Like um, Miss Rachel? That kind of stuff. Doesn't make Spotify music. She doesn't. She doesn't have any jams. Not on Spotify. How about Peppa Pig? And they don't listen to their music. We you got... know what, Bobby? Yeah. Let's create a child song now. I'll do a line. You do a line. We'll go all the way down the line. That sounds good. Yeah. Red balloon in the sky with the butterfly me sliding down the slide at the park this afternoon. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna pass. <laughs> We'll try it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Go ahead, Bob. Dead. What? Okay. Yeah. I'm not giving nothing. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead, Bob. Here well, we you. Well, how about open your heart before you get, when we get to you? <laughs> not make a decision now. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean. Yeah. Okay, and the red train going down the track. <laughs> Who's that man standing outside my window? No. We can just keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> it's the mailman, but he's got a funny eye. Why is he staring at me for so long today? <laughs> he doesn't have mail but two hatches in his hand. Interesting and no pants on his legs. <laughs> I call him Billy, but he goes, I'm not Billy today. I'm a murderer. <laughs> Did you guys rehearse that? Yeah, we fucking rehearsed yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's called improv. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, too much. Yeah, it's enough. It I was like too it. much. No, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Did you did, ever? You, did you? Did you ever take get... improv classes? I should. <laughs> no. I think you should. I think we should teach her now. No, I don't want to. No, because I'll tell you why. What I noticed when I did hers, in my mind, I'm like, she doesn't know improv. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah. So I'm like, she, if we could teach her, then maybe you know, 
What's Bobby's comfort zone? Where do you feel the most happy? Uh, sleeping. I love that. Yeah. Don't you how, love it? How many hours a day? Not many. Because of the children? Yeah. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Because I know a guy who saw his nanny hit his hit the kid. Oh, wow. On the thing. In the face? Yeah, it was abuse. Wow. And the cops showed up a, a couple days later. A couple days. It's LAPD, bud. Yeah. Okay. They got stuff going on. Yeah. Unless it's a gang war. It's like a, ki a kid hits. Big fucking deal. Big deal. If I took that call. But I can. if you saw that, would you, I mean, obviously, what would you do? You'd be enraged? Yeah, I'd fire her. You'd fire her? But would you call the authorities? Yeah. Okay. So she slapped my kid. Yeah. That's yeah. it? That's it? Yeah. You're not going to go physically assault her? You're not going to have no. a hoedown? You're not going to make a ring-a-ding-ding -ding to somebody who should not, would not be named and have that woman disposed of? For slapping my kid? Yeah. No. In the sea, you go. You cross my kids in the sea. Bloom, bloom. Is that another song? Yeah. In the sea, you hit my kids. No, you'll you don't drown. hit my kids in the sea. No, okay. If you hit my kids, you drown in the sea. Okay, my bad. If you hit my kids, I will drown you in the sea. Pacific Ocean. We gotta be specific. Why? Because I think the specific is um, Pacific Ocean. Uh, it's a bigger ocean, but it's not a sea. Pacific Ocean isn't a sea. It's e exactly. Ocean. Oh, Mediterranean Sea. So far. Pretty Indian Sea. No, that's far. How about the Bay? Mexico Bay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. not a sea either. Yeah. But. Can you please? Back on her phone. Back on your phone. You guys keep talking to each other. What am I supposed to do? Just stare at you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, we'll do whatever you want. Be free. <laughs> We're just so glad you came. What's that tattoo on your left arm there? Uh, my children. Mm -hmm. Holding hands. Will you... Uh, Have another one? I was going to say, will you regret that tattoo? Because mm -hmm. um, they're going to get bigger. They're not going to look anything like that. That's going to be embarrassing. You're gonna, these are my kids. But they yeah. Won't. No, I think it's a fond memory. They're already bigger than this. I have these outfits. I saved them. They, um, you saved those outfits? Yeah, because they're like forever etched on my body. Do you have any on your legs? No. Okay. Yeah. Blue Chew. Chew. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex. You want to bring the heat in the bedroom? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitrix. Levitra, but in chewable ta tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, anywhere, no matter what. Bobby's been using these for quite a while now. I jerk off with it. Okay. And so many one. men, <laughs> you can do whatever you want with it when you get it. When you I get it. It's so good. It's all done online, though. That's the best part about Blue Chew. No visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at a pharmacy. The tablets are made here where? In you. USA, USA of America hey. and all of it. Ship direct to your door in a very discreet package so nobody knows it's none of their business. It Dude, I'm uh, guys, I just kind of do a self-endorsement. Go ahead. You know, I, just Blue Chew saved my life. You know, when I'm a machine in the bed. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm not building, you know, buildings. You know what I mean? I'm plowing wood. You know, yeah, yeah. And does it work? Don't think you need it. Try for free for a month and see what I'm, you're going to love it. And you could be missing out on the best sex of your life. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. We've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code BADFRIENDS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code BADFRIENDS. B-A-D-F-R-I-E-N-D-S to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. Shopify. Shopify. You guys, we have an online business and we would not use anything but Shopify because it helps us. so. We're good. selling this merch right now, baby. And thanks to Shopify, we get our beautiful merch at BadFriendsMerch.com to you guys because of Shopify. When we started podcasting, our online store was the furthest thing from our, our mind. Now, I'm, now we're selling t-shirts and all t uh, beanies. beanies and it's so so easy all because i use shopify shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business doesn't matter if you're selling small stuff or you have a, a massive growing business from the launch your own online shop stage to the first real life store stage we got it all the way to the maybe you hit a million dollar stage shopify is going to be there to help you grow whether you're selling like scented soap Ooh. or like a michael jackson glove or like a pumice stone or something like that you never know. You never know what you're selling out of the comfort of your garage. But with Shopify, you can sell more, mm. less effort, thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. 
Shopify helps you turn your browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash bad friends, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash bad friends now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash bad friends. Anyway. Disgusting. You're, oh, God. You, I remember you saying that a lot when I was with you. I was disgusted a lot. You didn't say, she didn't say that once. Did she not? Not on ours. Yeah, you, because I, I think I disgusted you. Yeah, many yeah, times. Many times. He did not disgust you. Well, he wasn't like putting his toes out. And, oh. Like, oh, my toes are disgusting. Taking his shirt off. I didn't take my shirt off. How dare you? I think you did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think I did. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I did. But I apologize for that. But it was hot. We're playing tennis. And you tried to like hug me without your shirt on. You don't hug, right? You don't hug. I hug. No, I know. Your children, but not strangers. No, you don't hug other people. Not really. Like if we gave to, if we, when you say goodbye, when we, you wouldn't give a hug, would you? I would. No, you wouldn't. I do. Would you hug no. me? I don't hug. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. She doesn't hug. Who in the room would you hug? Um. So that's Pete on the left. That's uh, uh, McCone in the back, and that's uh, Fancy in the white. say something about McCone right now, I think. <laughs> Who would you hug? I, I <laughs> you know, hug. You wouldn't hug. An interesting guys. thing about McCone right now, you know? No, I would hug like my family. What? What? What's going on? Well, I thought, remember McCone thought he had a shot with Bobby? <laughs> oh, yeah. Get on the mic. You want to say something? I don't know if you want to approach this at all, but I know you're... I, I <laughs> yeah, know yeah. You're, you're. He literally thought he had a shot with you. It's so silly. Well, you're single now, yes? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And I don't know if it's sensitive, and I don't want to be rude and disrespectful to that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm being genuine. Okay. But this, this, this guy, this He's moron, intern. this moron, uh -huh. he says to us, he goes, "I think she's, I think she's really pretty." And I said, "Okay, great." And then he said, "I think, I think when I go with you to the thing, maybe I'll try to chatter, chatter up." And I said, "Okay, good luck." Silly, he, silly and man. And then he said, "What do you mean, good luck? You think I don't have a chance with her?" And I said, I said, absolutely not. Absolutely. Well, Bobby said, absolutely not. And I said, do you think you do? And he said, I think maybe she'd like me. No, he started going, I have the gift of gab. Gift of gab. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. He said the gift of gab. It's a Minnesota term. And then also he was like very cocky about it. And then when I saw him after it, he's like, nah, I didn't have a chance. Didn't, well, he didn't say one word. Yeah, he didn't say one word. So you want to say yeah. a couple of words now? You're a foolish man. Go ahead. No, step up to the mic and say yeah. what you need to say. I thought, you know, we're two movers and shakers, young. Oh, my industry. God. You no, no. think that you're even Let him in do this? It. Let him do it. <laughs> Let him do it. You know. Get up like, on the mic so she can see you and say what you need to say. Go ahead. The hair is coming back in. I was bald for a bit, but, you know. She feel, can't even look you in the Feel eye. a little more confident again. But, no, she's uh, she's intimidating. Can't. <laughs> can't. That's, yeah. That's your pitch? That's the pitch. That's the pitch. It's so weak. Wow. You guys said that this one was a ladies' man. <laughs> I did not yeah, say that. Yeah, they say that, <laughs> not me. Yeah. I don't say that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby, do you, do you, is this the kind of guy that you would date in your next round of life? No. No. Exactly. And why, though? Just give me some, some reasons. Just come curious. Uh, I feel like he's like 20. He's, yep. well, he, he's your same age. I feel like I'm 40, so unless you, he's yeah, 40, then. Yeah. He's not my same age. You're the same age, but go ahead. What else? What is it? What's some other? He has no money. I could. I mean, let me guess. Can I guess? <laughs> I <am. laughs> he has absolutely no money. Is okay. That... Let's yeah. get past that. Yeah. Okay. Beyond the age and the money thing. What else? I feel like those are two pretty big things. But let's add some more for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. For the sake of the show. I mean, is he attractive to you? Does he have a mullet. Did I see one? He has a mullet. He has yeah. a mullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For now. For now. Okay. Okay. There's another. Is he attractive? Um, and like a kid. <laughs> like, like, oh, look at that mm. kid. So if he calls you mommy, that's okay. That's disgusting. Well, that's... Al although, can I say something? Yeah. Last night, because I'm, I have a friend visiting me, and this friend of mine, yeah, she goes, you know, I, I know you're gonna get mad, but I have to say that I think McCone is cute, and it yeah. literally last night, I literally lost my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a girl that you're dating? Yes. Oh. I literally lost my yeah, mind. That would gross me out. It grossed me out. So he's not cute, though, at all. I didn't. I, I, I have no opinion. Well, look at him right now, real fast. Do you I, see anything you like to. over there? I don't want to. Can we set you guys up on a date? No. Please. No. Okay. Pretty, please. No. Okay, good. Well, you know, I'm single, Bobby. I'm considered oh, the Bobby. Korean Timothy Chalamet. So, um. Mm -hmm. Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. You're more. You're not really a Chalamet. What am I? 
more like a Tu Wong Fu. <laughs> Bring up Chalamet. Yeah. That look at how fucking beautiful that kid is. Okay, look at That's that. not you. Look Wait, at... do that face. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. You see it? Yeah, I see it actually. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Okay, but my bad. I really love and I really appreciate you. I love you feeling what you just felt. Because I really need you to stay where you are sometimes. Because he's getting real ahead of himself. Yeah. I see. He's late to everything. Yeah. I paid for him to come out to New York. I pay for his life. I mean, and I love him. He's family to me. Mm -hmm. I said, come out to New York for the premiere of my movie. I want to, let's ask Bobby what she would have done in the circumstance. My mother is in town. I flew my mom out for the premiere of this movie. Kind of a big fly deal. Me out. Huh? You didn't fly me out. Why? What, why? Why, why would I? Friends. Oh, do you want to come to a premiere of something? No, but okay. Been well, nice. fuck, dude. So I, I flew my I flew my mom out. I said you have one job. Mm -hmm. You have to meet me at the premiere, and I want you to film me and my mom getting out of the car together. It's a special moment for me. Mm -hmm. One job. Did you get that footage? So. Did you get the footage as a big yes or no? I can't I believe this shit. I was in Brooklyn at the time. No, 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 no. Did you get that footage? Were you there before me to get the car, me getting out of the car? I got on the train. Yes or no, were you there before me to get me and my mom? The one thing I, I asked you to- I before you. Did you film me and my mom getting out of the car? I was, it, you were getting out of the car. Did you film me and my mom getting out of the car? No. Thank you. What would you do in that circumstance if that was someone you hired on your team for one special moment in your life who you paid to do a thing and really no other responsibilities? Mm -hmm. He could have done anything he wanted for the fucking four days in New York. Go party, do whatever he wants. One thing. What do you do in that circumstance? And by the way, whatever she says goes. I so fire him. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. You heard it. Out. Go. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> He's been good. waiting for that for that a long really time. Good. That was super good. Right? Wouldn't that hurt your heart? Yeah. Bobby. Yeah. Um, when you're ready to date, what are you looking for? Oh, um, let's have a, like a little checklist here. So, um, can we ask you some questions? Sure. All right. So, um, what if he had his own children? That is fine. Yeah, I guess. Okay, that's fine. I blended, really, blended family. Uh, bl like really, the Brady like, bunch, like the Brady bunch. I can't really like say no now that I have kids. Right. You can like, do whatever you want. What do you? But mean? what if they had? What, would, they, what if they were like stay home kids. forever kids? If you know what I mean. No, I would prefer if they didn't have kids. You know what I mean? They have helmets. You know what I mean? What? They're stay home forever kids. You know what I mean? They're just like whizzing around, you know? Okay. <laughs> What's your next question? All right. So <laughs> that's number one. Number two. What if he is like, um, I don't have a job, but I have money. Is that okay? No. He needs to work. Yeah. What if he just wants to stay home and take care of the kids? Yeah. And he wants you to live your- I mean, they're whizzing around his room, I mean, no. his house. He's got a- he needs to have his own life. Okay. Mm -hmm. How short can he be? Uh, at least six feet tall. So it has to be over six feet. Mm -hmm. Or six feet is like the. I, it's it's just when people when people are like you, it just re, you're just cutting out so many people. I think it's fair. No, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. I think men under. I want to be feet. able to wear heels, right? And not and you still can. And not be taller. <sighs> all right. Why? I mean, it hurts what, me. Well, why? What if we have because I, because I'm because when I go on. Dating sites. How tall are you? Five, three and a half. Just flat. <laughs> There's no way. Are you actually? Are you yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I am. And it's like when I go on dating sites like Raya, uh, some of the things You're will on say. Raya. Wow. Wow. That's a shot. Well, I didn't. It's a shot to my gut. It's a shot. You know, shot what, you know what you meant when you. That's said not yeah. what I meant. I yeah, just yeah. genuinely was wondering like, if he's on. They Raya. let you on that. Yeah. That's not what I said. Anybody. Wow, can get it's on really it. going so down. Not, no, not every. That. that even hurts more. That anyone can get on it. I feel like I've seen that anybody. You just need like a referral code or something. A bunch of referrals by fancy people. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay. Will you use the apps at some point, or you think you're not going to do that? I'm okay. You'll never. I'm do waiting that. to to stumble upon the level. All right, so but sometimes the app will go, I'm not looking for anyone under six feet and it hurts me. But anyway, let's keep going. That's so, fine. Just date people under four feet. I like taller women. Not. There's okay, definitely. Okay, then fine. There's women who like short guys. That's just not for me. Okay. Short yeah. king. Fair enough. Yeah, there's a lot of women that like short yeah. guys. Yeah. You wouldn't have dated Napoleon and that's a shame on you. Mm. He ran the thing. He ran the thing? France. I don't even know who that is. Both of you guys have no idea who Napoleon is. He ran the thing. Like dynamite. France. Yeah, yeah, there he is, right there, dude. Napoleon dynamite. That's he was the same. He was the same height. That's Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, just but a, killing the game. Look at him. Look at his dick. Not that. Well, it's not that big. Yeah. Yeah. It's you're not right. That. Um. 
All right, let's go back to the checklist. May I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what if he um, was blind in one eye and in a fiery accident, he his ears would just burn off. So you just see like holes on the side of his head. Mm. But he covers it with hair, mm. right? But when you look at it, you can see like the insides. Yeah, you can see the workings of what the, the ear. What do you mean? What is it? I'm asking you a Next question. Next question. Oh, let's go back to the. What if he was a, a religion? Like he was like Zoroastrianism. You know what that is? Like one of the original. Okay, nothing. All right, so he has to be over six feet tall. Yes. Ask her about color. What color? What is wrong with you guys? What color? What color? You guys, I'm done. What about Asian? Are you uh, okay with Asian men? How many are over six feet? How many how, Asian? Uh, you know what, dude? I, you know, honestly, not much, but anyway. It's actually true. That's true. Interesting. I would love to see your feet. Thank you. Jiminy Crickets. Jiminy Crickets, I fucked up. Why would you say that out loud? I was looking at our boots right now. I go, like the boots, but I'm like, what's underneath it? And I go, probably nice feet. You're not saying that in a gross way, are you, bud? Not in a sexual, no. All right. I don't find her sexually attractive. How big are your feet? <laughs> Why? What size shoe do you wear? Yeah, a that's six. not. Why? A six? Yeah. Yeah. Tiny. I bet you have long toes. Mm. <laughs> are they long toes? Do you paint them? Bobby long toes. Yeah. Do you paint wow. your toes? I don't paint them myself, no. But you get you, I bet you get gels. Yeah, like like you, remember? I know. Yeah. I do remember. Dude, that day, I'll never forget. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot. <laughs> hmm. Ouch. Ouch. Do you get like a little limp between your toes or? Will know. you save some and send it to him? No, it's just, this is weird. This is what you do to me. When I'm gonna leave here and tell people he was so what? weird. You say Bobby was weird? That's so yeah. fucking, it's so crazy because it's like, why can't you ask these questions? You can. Yeah, I'm curious about your feet. Mm. I'm sure they're lovely. And I'm curious to like see the condition they're in. That's all. I mean, Pete, am I wrong? No, not at all. Exactly. Do you have a foot fetish? I might have one. Yeah. Because I've been showing people mine. Yeah, well, you, that's not what a foot know. fetish is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not the same thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I think mine are so nice. Look. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You like what you see? I don't want to see. <laughs> do, you, um, do you drink or use drugs? I. Are you the police? What are you asking me that for? Maybe. Who's asking? Why are you asking? Did you have something traumatic happen in your life growing up? No. Okay. You're attacked by a wild animal. Is that how you That's usually get information out of people? Yeah, yeah. You just like guess until you maybe get it. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Were you in a cult? Were your parents in a cult? No. Did you go to church every Sunday? Yes. What church? Can we say that? The no. religion? No. Oh, what kind of religion? Oh, yeah, what kind of religion? Christian. Well, oh, well what's let's, let's get into Jesus. Catholic? No. Just just broad Christian? Like The church was called Christian called? Church? Non-denominational? Yeah. Yeah. That's a cult. You know what, is dude? It? Shut the fuck up. That's dude. enough. Enough about you. It is a little bit, though, but in a good way. I can see you at a pew on what? your hands and knees. What? No, th that's Catholic. They don't do that. They don't do pews? That's not I can see you, see you in the wooden bench. Hmm. Okay. On a wooden bench, right? And then when the song comes, you know how they do the song? And you have to pick up the book a little. Oh. Right? I guess you immediately grab the book and really, you don't even need the book. You, you, have, the, you have it memorized. Jesus Christ, you're my Lord and Savior. I feel like you guys are gonna go to hell. For and this. my friend. They're why are we? Why would we go to hell for praising Jesus? You're yeah, mocking him. Really? Really? Yeah. I think we're showing love and respect. Do you still go to church? No. When was the last time you went? Uh, the hell's above. <laughs> what? I love you, Satan. <laughs> Nether world. Beelzebub. Cool. So I do both. <laughs> like I, I go both yeah. ways and that confuses you. That's right. But that's the yin and yang of me. I'm texting Luke. Oh, don't, te don't text Luke. Who's Luke? My manager. Her manager. Why, like I cut this out? Yeah. No, please. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, no, oh, no, no. <laughs> no, listen, Bobby, 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 Bobby. Look at him. Bobby. Begging. Yeah. Bobby, look, Begging. Please don't leave. Please don't tell your manager that, you know what I mean, this was an uncomfortable situation. I really apologize. And where's the, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here, Bobby. 
Thank you so much for being here. Very good. Satan <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Any other questions? Well, this was nice. I love you so much. I really do. I care Thank about you. Okay. And I, before we end, I just want to ex- let's ha- let's ha- let's do. I, I know what we're gonna do. All right, because I feel like we're in a hole. Okay. Who's not we? Me? I'm humming. I'm. Fine. I'm humming too. Okay, you're good. Like a bird. Yeah. Right. So what I want to say is, let's go down the line. Not a song. Don't worry. Right. But we express how we really feel about each other before we go. Okay, that's good. And then this, and only positives, no negative. Okay. Right. Should I start? <laughs> this is your bit. It's not a bit, dude. This is your. It's an exercise. This is your exercise. Okay. It's like a gratitude list. Can you look at me? Okay. So, Bobby, here's how I feel about you, okay? I'm honored to work with you. I am. When I, I really am. When I did your, I was so grateful that you asked me to do it because you're hot and the kind of, no, like in terms of the numbers, like you're you're hot out there, not in the, like it's attractive way, you know? I mean, you're attractive, but I know. I feel like it. <laughs> I feel like I'm drowning in sadness. All the way to China, this one's going. <laughs> I, I, I know. Let me start over, all right? I was really grateful that you had asked me. I thought we worked well, well together. It got really good traction. It helped me out a lot. Um, I also, um, I just think that you're like a anomaly, a very talented person. And I think that in this time of age, we just need somebody like you out there. I think you're so important. And I just, um, I think that you're a good mom. Thank you. And I think I want to see your feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's good, right? <laughs> Is that good? You, you're other oh, than you. I go to you now. Okay. Yeah, you're my best, and um, you're the best. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. And we're going to Austin mm-hmm. tomorrow together. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. And I just like working with you, and I trust you immensely. God bless. And I love you so much. Go ahead. Now your turn. Okay. Bobby. Mm-hmm. Be real, dude. Be authentic. Bobby. <laughs> Good. I got Here we go. You know. <laughs> it's happening. I'm let- oh, you could, no, because you're feeling it. And that's what I love. It's about. organic. It's so organic, I'm letting, dude. I'm letting it rip. Bobby. Even- Will you, can you, you know what? Go in the front room just so I can have like a moment. Have in this. Cigarette. Have a cigarette. I really want this to be. Ca- I want. I want it to count. I'm sorry. I made you come here and do this. I'm sorry. I know you said you didn't want to do it, and you said this is going to be a waste of your time, and you don't like Bobby, and he makes you uncomfortable, and you said it over and over, and I'm sorry. Okay. Do you accept my apology? No. Okay. So that's a wrap. How do we get out of here? McCone will help you out. That's okay. Yeah. Can I do it? <laughs> Morgan and Morgan. Morgan. It's 2024, so let's talk about something important. If you get injured by a person, place, or thing, you deserve to get paid. Do you not agree with that statement? I totally agree. I've been injured before by a thing, which was a car, a person, which is you, and a place, which is Detroit, Michigan. Yes. And I wish I had Morgan and Morgan available to talk to back then because they're America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 1,000 lawyers. If you're in an accident, not calling a lawyer means you could be leaving money on the table. Mm -hmm. When you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions, guys. That's right. And with over $20 billion recovered for over 500,000 clients, Morgan Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. It's so easy. Yeah, like okay? bending space and time is hard. Very. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan Morgan is easy. It is very Give me very another easy. one that's hard. Um, wicker weaving is very hard. So hard. But submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash badfriends or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. Yeah, that's for the people, F-O-R, the people.com slash badfriends or pound law, pound 529 from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. Did you see Dune 2? Yes. Did I you didn't see- ask you. Oh, oh. Yeah, did you see it? Oh, I, did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. Would you like it? Did I see Dune 2? Yeah, yeah. Dune 2, Dune 2, Dune 2, Dune 2, Dune 2. I didn't see Dune 2, and I'll tell you why. 
okay. I want to rewatch Dune one before I go again. That's what I did the night before I went to see. My Dune cousin 2. just did that. That was a smart idea. He got yeah. stoned. He watched Dune one, and then he went to the theater and watched Dune two. Mm. So I, that's what I need to go back to do. Yeah. Tell you this, man, Elvis, he really's got it. Presley, he's in it. No. Hey, what's Austin. up with the sandworm? No, Austin, Austin. Oh, what's going on with the sandworm? <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I have a bragging point? Let me brag. You can I him? brag? No, I got a better, oh. I, I got a better, better bragging point than what that. What is it? Austin Butler played Elvis. Yes. Well known, right? Yeah. When we toured Graceland, you didn't come with us. You refused to tour Graceland. Mm. When I toured Graceland, the teenage kids, you know, someone like that. You've already told this story before. Not on this show. I love it. I want to do it again. Can I re can I tell it? The teenage kids were like, Santino. Yeah, yeah. Bad friends. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. The woman goes, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Yeah. The guide. I said, that's okay. Most people don't. She goes, well, they seem to know who you are. She goes, that's really surprising. I've given a lot of celebrity tours this place. And a lot of people just don't really recognize anybody. Mm. I said, like who? She goes, Austin Butler, who played Elvis. I walked him through this entire property. Not one person stopped him. Mm. And I said, take that, Austin Butler. <laughs> this is before the movie came out. No, of course not. That's insane. It came out. It was already way out. Okay. I think as a guy, he might be unrecognized. He looks like a very like... It's a chameleon. Yeah, he able to... He's it's able a chameleon. To... <laughs> let, let me ask you. It's I, a chameleon. I want to say this, But though. look at that guy. You might not Bro. know that's him. Bro, he was so good in Dune 2. I'm sure he was. Yeah, he played Frey. Fade Rautha. Fade Rautha. Fade Rautha. Harkonnen. Harkonnen, correct. That's right. Yeah. Let me have a chance to say it. <laughs> oh, okay. Frey right. Right. Look at how much better he looked at his. Look at, look at the, the first picture down on the second row. I mean, what a first picture. Look at how handsome he is. So handsome. But as Frey, because Sting played that part, remember? Mm, In the, yeah. the David Lynch Dune. And he was, and Sting was like. <laughs> Every breath you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a police song, isn't it? Yeah. And it's but a Sting it's still song. him. Mm. It's very good. But what's the difference? Do you like Sting more or po uh, the police more? Oh, the police by, by far. Isn't that weird, though? By far. Why did I not like Sting after the police? Because he went really family, kind of. His songs were very, like... Poppy and... No, it was just... Yeah, like... What's that one song that he sings? I don't even remember. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 he sings. Field of, jo field of. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, he sings uh, Streets of Philadelphia. Nah, nah. No, not that. The field. Oh, that's What's the field right. one? What's the field one? Kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Give me the lyric. I think I can sing it. Huh. No, oh, it, field I, of yeah. Fields of gold. Na, 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 of rapture or whatever it is. Yeah. You yeah. remember me. Yeah, that's it. When the west well, wind blows upon the ways of rapture. rapture. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You know, Fields I, of Gold, that's that song. What's your favorite police song? Oh, God, I like it. Get uh, underground! Get underground! <laughs> that's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I enough. can't breathe! <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe! Bad, Why bad, can't bad. we do that? Bad boy, bad boy, Why? bad boy. That was a great song. It was a really good song. But uh, My favorite my yeah. favorite police song was... Uh, uh, maybe I'm going to sing the hum and let's see if you know it. Ready? Oh, yeah. My favorite police song. Yeah, yeah. Stanley Tucci. Stanley Tucci. Yeah. That song is about us. You know that, right? Yeah. Roxanne's a good song. The song that I'm singing is called "Man in the Suitcase." It's literally about our life. Why must I be the man in the suitcase? I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it me, man with the strangest face? Yeah. The police were great. So good. So good. And then, um. You know what I listened to the other day that I was I hadn't listened the Cars love so many good songs the Cars shake it up shake it up that's so good it is really good yeah. I've been watching I haven't seen I haven't seen anything because I've been watching uh... Shogun <sighs> Shogun is... everyone's talking about Shogun Shogun is so good yeah but also I've been watching uh, I watch Curb I watched through Curb. Oh, oh Richard stay, Lewis. Staying up to date on Curb. Yeah. Amazing. I heard Shogun's great. There's only one problem. Oh, I'm not in it. Not enough white people. Oh, okay. I don't think there's anything in Shogun for me, though. I don't think so either. Why? I can do Shogun. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Is that what it is? Ow, ow, ow. Ow, yeah. ow, 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 ow. You've got the role. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You got the role. But I, why can't I die? I mean, that's what they'd make you do for sure. I know, but I can die in a in a dramatic show. Of course. 
oh, 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 oh. No, let me just, <laughs> no, let me just do it, right? I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Some samurai comes up to me. Go to bed. I'm like, is he sucking my dick? <laughs> He's not. No, I know. No way. Then I go, oh, I feel a pinching in my stomach. Oh, it hurts. Yeah, in your mind, when you're sleeping, you would hear that noise. You go, you check, no dick sucking, because my sides hurt. I look down. Oh, why? Tongo. Why Tongo? I, I, we grew up together in the valley, the river we had by the creek. Is it too much? I don't like, I don't like this. Is, uh, why? I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no, let me finish it. Okay. That's why you don't, you don't let me finish my scenes. Not if they're falling apart. I, I know. I'm like the I'm like the fucking conductor who's like uh, bail, bail. Well, you're directing it, right? So just cut it, okay. right? Cut. Yeah. So Reset. let me let, yeah. Reset. Exactly, dude. Let's go back to one. Uh, and I'm as an actor, I'm, I'll probably still do an Asian accent, even when I'm not shooting, just to be in the role. Uh huh. Could I ad lib? Yeah, ad rib. I can ad rib. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? I'm so prepared. Action. You say action or do I just go? I have to say it. Oh, take, take my your, bad, my no, bad. no, like a good director. Take yeah. your own action. I really? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, you. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting stabbed. I know. I don't think you owe you when you Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the owe you was this. Mm. You're so stupid, dude, sometimes. Well, I'm the director. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't care, dude. You're I, fired. It, no, I, 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 fired. I, 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 no, don't fire me. You're fired. I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> the owe you was, the first two is realization. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you. And then owe oh, you is I open my eyes because I'm fucking sleeping. Yeah, you're, oh, you're napping. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going, oh, you. Right? Betrayal. Betrayal. Oh, that's the line? Betrayal. Betrayal. As you die. Yeah. Okay, ready? Action. Oh, 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 you. Betrayal. No, it's a little too excited. I'm not done. <laughs> too excited. I'm not done. Already? All right, right. Can I I'll take my own? <laughs> oh, you. Betrayal. Tony. Oh, it's Tony. Yes. <laughs> and it's, it's Tony Soprano. Yeah. Well, let's fuse the two worlds. I got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got to stab you, Shogun. How would you, would you stab? Let me do, you, you do stab. Shogun, sorry, I got to stab you. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me stab you. Oh, you do. Now I'm the director. But you have... It's Shogun. Ready? Uh, scene 46, Shogun, you know? The rapture scene. Action. <laughs> Cut. Was it not believable that I was getting stabbed in my sleep? <laughs> yeah, but you're not an Irish guy. How was I Irish? I look this way. No, but you're supposed to be you Japanese, guys wouldn't a, give me a the Japanese eyes. guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> ar, ar, we don't do that. All right. All right. So anyway, God damn this guy. I should have auditioned this guy, man. I swear to God, dude. I shouldn't have offered. Anyway, rapture scene, scene 36, take for 15 and action. <laughs> You stab on me. Oh, fairy. <laughs> it's cut. I mean. Yeah. Um, what do they say? The, call the academy. What do they say? They go, um, you know what I mean? What does the director say? Print that. Print that. <laughs> Print that. <laughs> Fucking dead on, dude. You know when you go on a set and they have that red light and it says do not enter when light is on, we're rolling? Mm. Always do. <laughs> Always. I do it every time. I'm not going to stop. What are we talking about? Let me in. Let me in. What the fuck is going? There's food in there. Let I don't me understand in. what you're saying. When they're rolling on a stage, they put red lights up to make you make sure that you know that they're rolling to not end. Oh, I never. St oh, dude. I go in every time. I'm hungry. Not all craft services there. I'm hungry. Not only that, it's like I always tell because there's always wardrobe and people waiting there. Yeah. Because they don't want to cross. I cross. And I go. You know what I always say? Mm. I go. I'm quiet. Yeah, just sneaky. I thinking. slowly. Mm. And those doors are so heavy. You can, there's padded too. Yeah, they're fine. They're so fine. Then no one's going to hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I wanted to show you this. Dude. Because, 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 because we're going to Abu Dhabi. People know. Uh -huh. One of the princes. Ah, uh, Prince Jasmine. Just bought Prince Jasmine. <laughs> look up, look up. No, no, no. Just write, write Saudi prince billion dollar jet. Some guy just bought a billion dollar jet, outfitted this jet. 
Look at this fucking thing. It's going to blow your mind. Maybe it's... Is that... Yeah, that's it. The first picture. The first one. Saudi print that one. A bill... Look at the fucking photos of this thing. al A bin billion dollars? Yeah, so 500 million private Boeing jet and then outfitted it with another... I don't even know. It says it in the article. I mean, dude, the fucking bedroom... We got to get one of the princes while we're over there to let us on their plane. For a billion dollars, he should have gotten an Airbus. Okay. You know what? It's a 737 Max. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're on recalls. That's a beautiful room. That's bro. you and me. Imagine oh, you guys my, sleeping imagine together that. next to each other. But let me say something. How many princes are there? Because every time I think about the Middle East. Google it. How many People princes? say there's so many princes. There's got to be. You're my little prince. So does that count? How many princes are there in the Middle East? The number of princes is estimated to be at least 7,000. Wow. Most of the power and influence being wielded by 200 or so. We got to get to the 200. The, I think the rest of them, the 6,800, <laughs> we don't need. What are you talking? Why not? I, are- we want to get to the 200 princes. We don't want to be like, oh, that's the, you know what I mean? The gotta, prince of gotta, that gotta, this mountain. You got to start somewhere, buddy. And, no, okay, I'm a prince. Imagine. You hello, know what it is? hello, I'm prince. Which one are you? Jasmine. Prince Jasmine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am Prince Jasmine. Do you know Prince Alid Salib? Do you I know do him? not know, but I've oh, seen him at the fuck convention. fuck you. Let me keep going with the bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm Prince Jasmine, right? And I'm going to tell you, I just became Prince. It, there was only 6,999 Prince. It's okay, Prince. I'm 7,000 Prince. Prince Jasmine, do you- Hello, do you have, I'm Prince Jasmine. Do you have a private jet that we can go oh, on? Oh, yeah. Wait, how, how big is Southwest. it? Southwest. Oh, you own a Southwest plane? <laughs> yeah, no, I am number A1, 2, and 3. Yeah. We get to go on first. Wow. Wow. Before actually, business. It actually would be called uh, Far Far East, Far East Airlines. Yeah, Far East Airlines. Far East Airlines. Where are, yeah. Anyway. Uh, What's your airline called in the Middle East? Oil. Oil Air? Yeah, oil Air. Well, deliberate. Yeah. And uh, can I tell you how we got our money? How did you get your money? We I don't can... have oil. Oh. My family. Really? Barrel. You own one barrel? A several oil barrel. I hope you'd have a lot of barrels. No. You, 12. Oh, you own the physical barrel. The barrels. Oh. Right, so we get a piece. By the way, a barrel prince is so funny. <laughs> yeah, barrel piece. Everyone's prince. like, your money must have come from oil. He's like, the barrels. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And they're like, yeah, but not the oil inside. Like, we manufacture yeah. barrels. <laughs> also, we're, we're the barrel barons. We the also I have, barons. We have technology that we take sand and to put in the mud. Oh, you make sand mud. <laughs> we have the technology. You make sand mud. You know how? Oh. Very simple. Oh. Water. Get out of town. Yeah. Barrel prince is actually a very good idea. Thank you. The broke, it'd be funny to be like the broken. You be a prince now. Of the princes. <laughs> if you're the brokest of the princes. You be a prince now. It's like your money must. Hi. Be- Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um. Well, uh, at this high, this is where the prince co- convention is? Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Well, what is your name? Oh, I'm sorry. I should know. Yes. I'm sorry. I offended you. Mm. You're Prince Jabawaki. I read about you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you dance. I will dance. Yeah, yeah. But mostly, yeah. I count money. Mm-hmm. I've made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how? Can I guess? Sure. Rugs. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, cool. Toupees. I own the biggest toupee company. <laughs> oh, you do? Yes. Head, but magical ones. Head rugs. Head rugs. <laughs> <laughs> but they're magical toupees. Yes, they will get you pussy magically when you put them on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. That's a great prince. The Prince Beryl and Prince Toupe guy should, should, they should hang out. By the way, I'm sure the, the people listening to this in, in fucking Dubai are now like, fuck these guys. Fuck these guys. <laughs> yeah. But can I, when we go to Dubai. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi I've you, been there before. Oh, you've been to Abu Dhabi? Yes. I did a show there once. United Arab Emirates. Yeah. We get business, right? Yeah, it's business. We're going for business, not pleasure. No, it's a business class. I can't do a fucking coach on that. Well, I hate to break it to you, my friend, but no, we're not flying business class. We're flying regular. And we have to stop like three times. We have to stop like in Japan. Are you fucking kidding me right now? We have to stop in Japan. Then let's not do it. Uh, We stop in Japan, in Delhi, and then in, for some reason, we stop like somewhere in Eastern Europe. Then we get down there. I don't think we should do it then. It was a good, I got it on Expedia. It was like 38 bucks a person each way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was worth it. No, we're- Have I, you been to an, I've been to airports in the country, in different parts of the world where you see like chickens and roosters on the field. Dude, when we were in fucking, I never, even, I don't even know if I told you this. When we were leaving Sicily, mm. we were in this fucking airport. It wasn't open. 
we had to wait outside. The first flight was 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers showed up at like 9.56. Wow. And the guy was like, okay, okay, come, come. <laughs> and like opened the gates to the fucking airport. And I turned and I was like to my dad, I was like, should we not get on this fucking Is it plane? Was it a, one flight to, straight to America? or was No, it? it was a flight from Sicily to Rome. Ah, that's but, where the good ones are. But they opened the fucking airport. Wow. I, I'm not kidding. Security was closed. Wow. And I was like, is this a good idea? This guy showed up like five minutes before we're taking what's, off. What, what's, what's the food like? In Abu Dhabi? No, Sicily. Oh, a lot of it's a well, it's a lot of uh, fish. It's a lot of seafood. Southern Italy is a lot of seafood. It's, mm. You know, a lot of Mediterranean style stuff. Do you like? If you like seafood, go down there. If you're not a seafood guy, I highly recommend avoiding it. What because, about because we had? There's always someone in your group who's like, I don't really like seafood. You're like, well, fuck, dude. That's all they have down here. But is there a pizza place? Of course. Yeah, you're gonna get pizza. Like, is there like a round table? Yeah, there's a Jack in the Box. <laughs> you know what's so funny? There probably is a Jack in the Box down there. No, there is a pizza place down there. But there's, I know, obviously it's Italy, but. No, there's not a corporate pizza place. No. There's no round table. Well, I'll tell you, in Rome, there's like a Domino's or a Pizza Hut. Oh, Rome, you... Rome, in Rome has stuff like that. They have McDonald's. They have all that stuff. All right. It's fucking, it's Rome. It's, it's Rome, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't built but in a is day. There a place... But it was built on the shoulders of Pizza Hut. Because let me ask you something about pizza. Because you, you have... gotta get a pizza pizza. Yeah, pizza pizza. Do you, so there's different kinds, right? Of what? Detroit. Yeah, Detroit style. Chicago style. It's style. like square, like a squared type of pizza. Yep. And then you have deep dish Chicago, where it's deep. Deep, deep, deep. Deep, deep, deep. Yep. And what I'm saying is, is that do do people go in like was there a guy in Detroit who's like, I don't like it circle. Yeah, I'm sure he was an immigrant, moved there, and right. decided to change the I style. I want to do square. Uh-huh. That's interesting to me. I love that. Yeah, I, I do too. You know who these kind of people are? People yeah. like Bobby Lee. People who break the mold, people who go against the grain, who swim upstream who don't just do what everyone's doing. Mm. They challenge the ideals that are put out in America right now. Play some really inspirational music. Yeah. They challenge the ideals of what's happening in the world because most of them are antiquated bada, and bullshit. Bada boom, bada bing. And bada boom, bada bing. I, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Los Angeles, I'm, I'm a fucking pizza. You know, I make, make a pizza. Well, welcome to the city of How you Colorado. doing? I have an idea. You want to open up a restaurant? I, I have a fucking idea, my friend. What kind of restaurant? I'm from Italy. You know? Oh, you're from Italy? Yeah. Where are you from? I, yeah. Where are you from? What? Where are you from? Alphabet. Applebee's Outback, Italy. Yes, uh, Applebee's. You're from Applebee, Italy. Applebee Outback, okay. all the garden, in the garden. He's from Chile, Italy. How you doing? Uh, by the boom, by the boom. Okay, what kind I'm of tell you, you I'm pizza place. Are you, are you fucking kidding? I'm right over here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm over here, man. You're over here. I'm over here. <laughs> how you doing? All right. How you doing? Well, let's do a fucking pizza, man. All right. right. All right. I'm gonna tell you something about welcome from my family. Okay. We take a very large pepperoni, very large. Is this Sebastian Maniscalco? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No, I'm doing... I'm a fucking thing. Sorry, sir. You take it... Yeah. Right? Got it. Check this out, my I'm friend. Checking. Right? Right? Well, and then we put the breading on it. Oh. It reverse. <laughs> right? So we, I put chunks of bread on this gigantic pepperoni. So it's like a calzone. No, but it's... No, because the pepperoni is exposed. It's a fucking exposed, my friend. So you haven't just peeked Like your guts, if I fucking kill you in the hey, desert, hey, whoa, you put, whoa, whoa. and I'll fucking expose your guts in the fucking vultures. I don't want any harm, pal. Fucking piece of shit. I don't want no problems. I'll fucking jab you with a fucking pizza. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want any... bitch. So wait, you're proposing, you're proposing a pizza with just bread? Hey, no, 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 hey. I like it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a million with dollars. The cheese, with, with the cheese. With the cheese. Inside the bread bits. Check it out, my friend. And then, you know what? You think I know what you? I, 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 I know what you're fucking saying right now to me right now, mm -hmm. my friend. Well, I'm gonna tell you something right now, right? Portobello mushroom. Very good. A gigantic one, so it captures the juices, mm. right? So you put the pepperoni right in the portobello, gigantic fucking portobello, right? And you fucking put the bread chunks with the cheese inside the fucking fucking thing, man. The fucking onions, the pepperoni, the pepper, pepper, and the fucking sausage. Fucking ricotta cheese, man. Fucking free. What do you think, my friend? <laughs> are you buy? Are you gonna buy? It, buy? It? Are you gonna buy it? I think you're never gonna make it. That's fucking rude, dude. What? That's fucking rude. No, yeah, I don't know. He doesn't, <laughs> anyway, he doesn't believe in your business. It's flawed. It's flawed. I know. I, you know, halfway during, I was like, I don't know, even know where I. <laughs> yeah, why you keep going? It was awesome, but it was. Con you I was just very keep, confused. You just keep going. You know, sometimes you keep going. Yeah, and, and that's everyone, what I the love. The world stops. I'll, you know what? what? And can I tell you something? What? I'll stop the world and melt with you. 
Let me ask you something about I'll Aust- stop the world and melt with you. What a great song. So good. So good. Let me ask you something. When we go to Austin, what day is our thing? Friday. Friday. We leave tomorrow night. Yeah. Friday. We, Friday, we have to do a thing. During the day? Saturday. Nothing. Well, Saturday, I guess we can say it because it'll have already happened when this comes out. We're doing pop-in special headliner shows at Rogan's Club. Two shows. I didn't know that. We are. You and I are going to do stand-up? Yeah. Oh, that's great. You didn't know it? You proposed it to me. You said you wanted to do new material shows there. Do you not remember that? I want to do that. You literally said, let's do new material shows. Let's do it. It was your proposal. Let's do it. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. You were like, I didn't know that. I called Adam Eagle. Hey! There it is. There he is. What are you doing when your fucking organs exposed? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. (laughs) Fucking rip on with my fucking family fucking heirlooms. How good did it feel to watch her berate McCone, though? Did that feel good at least? Dude, when I brought that up, though. Loved it. Best part. Did it Loved hurt? it. In the beginning, though, it was like, what the fuck is he doing? No, I knew exactly what you were doing. I was like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. You <laughs> don't have a like, shot. You, you can't even play anything off. I'm like, I don't even You don't I have a fucking anyway, shot, my friend. I can't say it. Hey, hey, listen to the Don when he's talking. <laughs> hey, the Don is here. I'm like, I don't got a fucking shot. Your name would be Don Wong. <laughs> Don Wong, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey the Don Wong would hey, like to speak my with friend, you. my other Don friend. Go ahead, tell him about I it. I really hate this impression. <laughs> fucking terrible. Why? It's terrible. I love it. It's so it's bad. It's so interesting. It's so bad. Not, uh, this guy. <laughs> you don't like it? You don't like it? I like it. I like it. it. Yeah, you don't like it? You like it? I like it. <laughs> Dude, honestly though, yeah. j- no joke, a mafia movie yeah. where like it's very serious and deep and dark and yeah. they bring him in the room and they meet you yeah, doing, oh my God, doing so, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking yeah. lose my shit. Well, it, if it's like a dead serious where it's like, everybody, it's a, we called a meeting because we want to have a conversation. The Don would like to talk to you. And someone else is like, what did I do to the Don? I didn't do nothing to the Don. Uh, oh, look, you, he just wants to speak with you for five minutes. Speak- opens the door. It's you with a hot rod, bright orange hat on yeah, like this. I, I, you look I, just I, like I, this. I, yeah, yeah. No, then, no, 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 you fucking betray my family. Thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs>